Hello Oil & Gas Professionals. Welcome to this YouTube channel, Join Oil & Gas. Today in this video, I will cover the glycol dehydration unit. So before we start, let's, let's just give you an introduction of this unit. This unit is the part of a gas processing plant where we are removing water vapors from the gas. So a common method used to remove the water vapor from the natural gas is uh, glycol dehydration. In this process, triethylene glycol or diethylene glycol is used to remove the presence of water in the gas stream. Water vapors can cause hydration, hydrate formation in the pipelines at low temperature and also the presence of uh, Hello oil and gas professionals, welcome to this YouTube channel, join oil and gas. Today in this video I will cover the glycol dehydration unit. So before starting let's give you an idea of this unit. This unit is a part of gas processing plant. So this is a unit that is used to remove the water vapors from the natural gas. And in this process triethylene glycol or diethylene glycol is used why we need to remove the water vapors? Because these water vapors can cause hydrate formation at low temperature and high pressure. And also it may cause corrosion problems in the pipeline or downstream equipments. Because there is a possibility of a presence of hydrogen sulfide or carbon dioxide gases. And the water may react with these gases and make corrosion problems. So glycol dehydration units, units are typically represented by the contractor, a flash tank, heat exchanger and a regenerator as shown in the, this figure. So here you can see this is the reboiler, below this there is a surge tank or storage tank also. So let's see from where the water is coming. So this is uh, the gas processing plant. I already covered this in another video. So here in the refrigeration section, this is the point where the glycol is injected into the gas stream and it passes through this chiller and during this it will absorb the water vapors from the gas. Then this is the cold separator here. The glycol is separated from the gas along with the water that is absorbed in the glycol. From this, it is moving back to the glycol dehydration unit where we need to regenerate this glycol. We have to remove all the absorbed water from this and we will make it ready for the next use. So let's see this uh, unit process. So this is the point. Now, first of all, we have a filter to remove uh, any particles or any dust that may come with this uh, glycol. So, after this filter, the clean solution moves in this search tank in the coil. You can see here. After this, it will enter this stripping steel column at the top, and it's a tray column. So it will flow down, here we have a reboiler, we are using here a heat medium to boil off this uh, glycol. So during this heat up process, during this uh, boiling process, all the water vapors will be separated from the glycol and it is vented to the atmosphere. So the glycol then will downflow to this search tank vessel. Because it came from the top, it is hot enough, 
So it will uh, exchange the heat with the incoming flow of, of the glyco. Then once all these particulates are removed and the glycol is regenerated, now this is the outlet. Here we have uh, two pumps, normally one is running and other is uh, kept standby. And from here, it is sent back again to the gas processing section and injected here, separated here and sent back to the glycol dehydration unit. This is a closed cycle loop and it continues like that. Other than this, you can see here is a thin glycol storage tank. In case we lost some volume of the glycol, we can uh, refill this loop by opening this valve and that's all about the glycol dehydration unit. We hope you learned something, you enjoy it. See you soon, next week, maybe with another video. So in the meantime, enjoy, be safe and bye-bye.